Okay, gang. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, gang. Let's combine. <sighs> okay, gang. Let's combine our last two lessons and let's talk about absolute values using fractions. Okay. I've got two different expressions here for you, and we're asked to find what are these things equal to. I don't know. We're gonna have to use our all the all the things. You see how all these lessons are just building one on another to use this the thing we just learned to solve another one, right? Into more and more complex problems. Okay. Number one, treat this as if this was parentheses, right? So we got to solve what's inside before we take the absolute value of it. You know, and what most people sadly think is, oh, that's a big number minus a smaller number, so that's going to be positive, right? Except a third is actually bigger than a fifth, isn't it? We all know that, don't we? Because we're like math geniuses, right? Okay, to solve this first, we need to do what? Common denominator, right? So 1 over 5, what are we going to multiply that by? The, what's the least common multiple for 5 and 3? It's 15, isn't it? So I've got to get this guy by 3 to get him to 15. 5 times 3 is 15. Minus, I've got to get that guy to 15. And he's going to be multiplied by 5 over 5, isn't he? Okay. And then I'll take the absolute value of whatever that is, right? Okay. Let's see. Remember, top times top, bottom times bottom. So here we go. This is 3 over 15 minus 5 over 15, and then the absolute value of that, 3 minus 5 is how much? Mm, minus 2. So minus 2 over 15, and then the absolute value of that. Finally, finally we get to do that operation, the absolute value operation, and so that's just going to be 2 fifteenths, isn't it? And that's as small as I can reduce that. Let's try this guy over here. This looks a lot harder, doesn't it? Not really if we treat what's inside the brackets by itself, okay? So here we go. Let's start with just what's inside of here. I'm going to leave this alone, okay? Well, actually, what is the absolute value of ne negative 1 20th? Just 1 20th, right? Okay? And, and I'm going to put 6 over 1, okay? I can do that any time, right? I can just put a 1 under him. And uh, that's good, okay? Minus, ooh, I'm going to treat that like parentheses, right? Okay, the least common multiple for 2 and 8 is, it's actually 8, okay? So minus 1 8, and what am I going to do with that guy? How do I get him into an 8 on the bottom? I have to multiply by 4, right? So 3 over 2 times 4 over 4. That's a 4, okay? And so what does this turn into here? Let's see. 6 times 1 is 6, and 1 times 20 is 20, minus the absolute value of 3 times 4 is 12 over 8, minus 1 over 8, okay? And 12 minus 1 is 11, isn't it? So 11 over 8, okay? And that's positive, isn't it? So the absolute value of a positive number is a positive number, isn't it? Okay. And so minus 6 over 20. Okay. And what's the least common multiple for these guys? The least common multiple here is 40. Okay. Because how many times do you have to multiply 20 to get 40? 2. How many times do you have to multiply 8 to get 40? Five, okay? So 40 is our number here. Okay, so here we go. Let's turn that into a 40. That's a 6 over 20 times 2 over 2, right? Minus, get him into a 40. I've got to multiply him by 5, right? 11 over 8 times 5 over 5, right? So what does that become? Oh, my goodness. 6 times 2 is 12 over 40, Minus 11 times 5 is 55 over 40. And then we have to do this. 12 minus 55. Hmm. 12 minus 55. 12 minus 55, right, 
is going to be what? Third, fourth, 43 to the negative, right? Okay. When you've been doing it as long as me, you can just do them in your head, right? Hopefully you're getting good at this and you start getting to do these in your head. Okay. Let's see. So does that reduce negative 43 over 40? I don't think that reduces. 43 is a prime number, so that's as small as that guy's going to get. All right. And so there it is. So fractions, absolute values. You got it? All right. I'll see you next time.